228 days paddling a kayak, 9,087 kilometers, I reach New York Harbor, the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> wow, have I come a long way. You know, flying into New York, which I've never done, is a lot different than paddling into New York, which uh, there's not too many people that have done that. I felt so small paddling under the uh, Statue of Liberty, but there I was, one kayak, one person, looking at the Statue of Liberty while hundreds of Chinese were taking pictures of me. I felt like a mini celebrity for like a couple of seconds. I, there's a, a barrier, a limit. You're only allowed to go so close to the Statue of Liberty. And I was outside that limit, but I was taking pictures and, you know, videos and, and I floated right in too close. And suddenly there's a boat with five armed policemen it was sirens and uh, I had to do a bit of talking to get out of that situation. <laughs> but man, I've come a long way. There's been challenges, heartaches, great times, fun times, but I made it. What an experience. Let's just recap on the last days and uh, see where this journey has taken me. Definitely, it's not the destination any longer. It's the journey itself that has captivated me, has brought me down, has lifted me up. One thing for sure, I'll never ever do this again. Without a shadow of a doubt, I will never do this again. But it's been a fun, fun past six days. Just excellent. But I'm exhausted. Utterly, physically, mentally, emotionally, just exhausted.
AIE, New York City. Akkurat bin uh, advart av politiet. Jeg kom in for nær i uh, 150 meter zon. New York City. Wow. For en reise. Uh, Statue of Liberty uh, is behind me. The boats are going by me. And uh, I've got to get out of the way. A boat's coming here. Cool. Pier 26 boathouse. Here I'm gonna keep my kayak and meet a guy called Martin. Really cool. Wow, downtown New York. Here I am. <laughs> Unbelievable. Depending on where, what tide it is, mm -hmm. the the current can be running north and south. Two hours after high tide, the current is still running north. Okay. Hmm. Okay, today, this morning at Sandy Hook, I had a horrendous start. Um, the waves were crashing into the beach and I tried to get my kayak out. And before I could get it, another wave came knocking it sideways. The kayak flipped, I flipped in the water. It took around five times <laughs> before I managed to get out into the ocean to be in the paddle. The problem is, is that I just, I, the waves were coming in just too quickly and I just couldn't handle it. It was just too ferocious. And anyways, what happened is I ended up uh, breaking my paddle. And now I'm at the boathouse, Pier 26, and uh, they got stuff that I can repair it with. So I'm gonna try and repair it. It's just a second paddle. So uh, I'll see how it goes, but I broke it. it when the kayak flipped and it went underneath the kayak so uh see see if i can repair it but i'm at the boathouse in new york Repairs. It'll do, it'll do.
but I never woke from last night's dream. The mansion on the hill where we could be little girls and swing on the tire swing and sing. Ready to leave Pier 26. Thank you, Martin, all the good people who helped me here while in New York. I'm going on a 10 kilometer paddle to um, Anabla Basin. Okay. When we're going to lead the way, you'll be shown the way and shown. of the world that we're in and I mean what what's going on here now Oh yeah the Venezuela um, event the Venezuela parade or whatever yeah. Are you from right Venezuela? No, no, I'm from Peru. Peru? Yeah. Is that are are they like South or, America. Are they, South America. Yeah, but are they like are they alike or not? Oh yeah. They get along. You're similar, they get along? Okay, good. Some Norwegian stuff going on here. We've got the Norwegian fish here. Look at that. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, wow. And we have that with bagels. Smoked Norwegian salmon slices right there. From Norway. From Norway. <laughs> wow.
and uh, everything poppy and plain. So after a little rest, I leave uh, Huckleberry Island and paddle a further 25 kilometers. I stop and ask some uh, fishermen if there's an island where there's some sand, and they pointed to a little island around, uh, yeah, around uh, two kilometers away. So I paddle to the island, and uh, a little island, and there I met some wonderful little people. I was so impressed with Joe and Celia, who've chosen an alternative lifestyle. They want to raise seven children. They have four now, Bula, uh, Gomer, Ephraim, and Jemima. And uh, he's a caretaker on the island, and they're sharing the responsibilities for doing that, plus uh, raising their children. What a lovely couple. Good to see that people have different dreams and that not everybody's heading to Wall Street, but actually some head to Little Captain Island. What do you do today? We have to do picking up shells first. And where do you pick the shells up? Are you going to do it now? Okay, let's go. How many do you think are in there? Five? Uh, probably more. There's 20 in my bucket. 20. I think that's correct. I think you're closer to 20. Now, why are you doing this? So that we can... Daddy wants to make it like... It has like shells for the past. For the pathway, so there's going to be a big pathway of oyster shells. Yeah. If any wind and sand, it's only covered. You're shells. going to get poked, poked. Okay. You see, there's a rock right here. And you know, I never meant my words that way. Then they'll take it away from me The pen is mightier than the sword Stick it in a blot of ink Thinking all the words I think To write to you out of nowhere Damn baby, you look good to me That's the thread, follow it down
Wait one second. What what did he say? Breakfast is ready. <coughs> it down and push it through and may your words be more than you and I will be your souvenir push me more and I'll sue you here wow for a day. Started at six o'clock this morning and now I'm heading east along Long Island Sound towards West Haven. What a perfect weather window day. It's as shiny as glass. Wow. What an experience. Yes. <laughs> Some sunlight in my crazy rotten couple weeks okay I'm <clears throat> not too sure exactly where I am but I put my kayak on the sand the wind is blowing and the tide is going opposite direction so I'm headed off to a convenience store to buy a lighter because I my lighter is rusted and uh, I can't light my stove to get all my food so Walk into the convenience store. There's hardly time to hold us down. The letters sent but never found. You don't like being in? Okay, but tell me, tell me, where are, where am I? Where are? Connecticut. East Haven? Yeah. yeah. Okay, what is East Haven noted for? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lobster rolls. Lily lobster shacks. Yeah. Lobster shacks? Yeah. And this, is this restaurant a good restaurant? Yes. Is that because your manager's standing right there and you have to t say that? No, he's not going to right there. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> and is this, is this your full time job? It is. Okay, no, you're gonna go to school, right. or university, or just gonna hang out here and work at the lobster shack and have, have fun, lots of children or something. What? Have lots of children and stuff. I don't want to. <laughs> okay, okay, the lobster shack. Okay, okay. When in East Haven, Connecticut, visit the lobster shack and meet these two wonderful girls. <laughs> right. Now we'll be. Your souvenir Push and pull And I will sue my dear Red lights and blue I see the colors too You're in my wake Oh God for heaven's sake You're the only one to when I've lost my way Now will be your soon been near You kiss me once so soon I'm here Now with me I think it's rice These are soon you're here
Okay, now I've, uh, I'm in a, a small cabin on Kelsey Island. I opened the window and came in and then opened the door. I don't know, could be breaking an entry, but uh, I'm not here to steal anything. I'm just here to have a warm sleep. So I'm a bit happy. No one's here, no one's on the island. I'll maybe leave them a note telling them that I was here. Maybe not. Mm-hmm. <laughs>